away we go. Kicking things off here, it will be Team Spirit on the T side, on the CT side, Team Vitality have gone five sets of Kevlar, set up in a very defensive stance as RPK, but up close is Zywu towards the balcony, ready to play spoiler. They're setting up an A set piece here. And the big man and the big star are gonna have to deal with action off the bat. Smoke comes over and here we go. Yeah, we're gonna see initial peppering. He will opt for a fresh clip. They've got a lot of space to maneuver here. So first blood yet to be drawn, but it does look like they're coming in thick and fast. Three quick frags in favor of Spirit to open up the bomb. And Masuta's dank flank does arrive, but it's a little too late. Maybe Apex can find a way back in. Disbalance seems to disagree. A shake of his head and a pop of choppers into the site now. Masuta, armored USP, and he's got a good inkling as to Magix's location. Merely likely to double swing on contact, and that's the end of that. Okay, so Spirit, off to the races with a nice A hit. And I will remind you, just as we get into this, that it seems that Vitality have had their woes here. So maybe, Chad, you can help me um, outline why their CT side may have been exploited by NIP and potentially will be exploited here by Team Spirit as we continue to watch it unfold. And this is why. So this force buy that we see coming in off the bat, they uh, enjoy a good old force buy. And if they're unable to convert and keep these competitive, I see it starting to spiral because Mirage is a map where I believe you need a decent chunk of utility to play map control on that CT side. Molotov's to do with the A rushes if you want to. Ooh, okay. Hold up a second. We'll get to that in a moment as I will we'll take down STY with the nade and the combo with Apex on the scout. I mentioned oh, nade, it yeah. with uh, the interview. Mir on the trade. So things will taper out to a 4v4, but some of these plays that you're seeing aggressively right now over to apartments from Vitality come back, can come back to bite them. They're good at finding the info, they're good at taking it, they're space invaders. <laughs> there used to be some super bargain bucket crisps you could get from your local corner shop in England called Space Invaders or Space Raiders. I space think Raiders? Were. And they were just like corn alien faces and they cost like 20p. All right. Absolute favorite of mine. Let me know if you are. I'm not making that up. I don't know if there's many. Someone at home. Any 28 year olds or whatever. 27. 27. You're not 28. Not yet. Next year. Next year. Now, the fact that they've got 78 Ks in that early casualty has really slowed down Team Spirit. They could certainly don't want to be falling foul to the force buy. They certainly confirmed that the scouts in play, so they will be taking a cautious approach here. Arms length, of course, the uh, distance favors them. But as the time goes down, that will become less and less favorable. He's flashing them up short. Masuta, Apex with a scout and a Masuta in that close corner. If we could get a couple of scout tags, there's one and a dunk as well proposed. He does tag another. Apex has done fantastic. Maybe Masuta can line up a couple here. He's gone for two multiple targets going down. Disbalance hunted. They're playing this one fantastically and RPK can Firms. So that will be Vitality's force by working. And of course, as we highlighted before, it's a risk, Chad. It's, uh, it's a colossal risk. This time it's paid off. Yeah, and uh, going through mid on an anti-eco from Team Spirit, once you know that the guns are in play, it has to change your attack here. So they did take this early damage. SDY going down basically for free. And then it was just a slow saunter onto the B bomb site. The, Mirage, for me, at least personally, is one of the hardest ones to play from an anti eco perspective on the T side. I, I really just struggled to find a good solution, especially if you get pushed away from middle and have to deal with scouts like they did in that scenario right there. But Spirit, they will be forced buying back. And they have some Deagles, Scout, Tech Nine of their own. Not as much utility to work with as they would probably want, but Chopper will have a flash. And I just want to make mention the other day I uh, did say STY. In-game leader, it's Chopper doing the in-game leadership. So uh, quite the interesting mix here. I disbalanced last time these guys played in season 11 was the topper of the charts for his squad when they picked up the victory. I find vitality. him so intriguing. I do, the disbalanced player, just because you know I've seen the, the highest highs and the lowest lows from one player. Little volatility nice from Chopper though, straight into Zywu's hair to keep them under wraps. This is where things can get awkward. Losing Apex, now suddenly this round does become up for question. They have the number advantage, they've lost connector control, there's only three of them, filling that gaps will involve utility, and there goes one of them that will achieve almost nothing. You can see Mir can play around that. In fact, if anything, he's safer from short now. Shock's even less capable of contributing to this pincer into A. 40 seconds left, having to make footsteps now. They're coming out of halls. Oh, RPK's just shied away with the timing there. So setting up for what will be a retake. Oh, does he want to play spoiler? Bomb getting planted in front of the triple box. Not going to spam. Not going to get a chance to take down a jewel there. And Shox will find one in the fray, but gets traded out. Ooh. There it is from RPK. Two on two. Okay, that is looking a little more scary. Magic's to try and go round towards that ramp. Mir was all the way in middle, but he's opting to rotate. Great shot. Needed that. 
and it makes it all the more difficult for Masuta. A fantastic series to open up his time here at Pro League, but as looking a little lost, does upgrade to the AK, does have an incendiary. That will buy a lot of time. No kit, in fact, he has one. He could try and draw out the fire. Magic's burning to confirm it is a fake, and now running out of time. Poor Masuta, not long for this world. So convinced it's Mir going around the world, but the other way around is they've flipped it and reversed it. It's like a skateboard trick. Yeah. Yeah. Like he was in middle, in connect. Normally you plant, run ramp and go middle. He's got middle, gone ramp. Opposite round the world. Oh, MC's back at his tricks there. <laughs> you see that there was a rain highlight yesterday. I saw on that you, one. That's so yeah. sick. That's pretty cool stuff. I'm so glad it actually had a, it has some use. And as you can see, Zaiwu actually has a very unique approach. He likes to garden outside, or rather play outside in the garden. Yes. So the exterior wall. One with, the, one with nature. Exactly. It's about channeling his chakras and ensuring positive vibrations. Well, the Force Buy, guess what? It's back. Who would have oh, thunk it? No way! They're just walking out Palace, Chad. They're just walking out. They love a good limp, these guys from Spirit. They'll be in your face from wherever you won't expect it the most. The damage is being done oh all across gosh. the map again. It has to be Mir to come in big here. Yeah, Apex burning. This is problematic. They still have a fully geared up Shocks and a double Molly Smoke Connect to that bomb will go down courtesy of Disbalance. He's low as well. If he finds Apex, Got a real shot, but bomb needs to be planted and it could be contested with a wall bang. He's actually just hunting it. Trying to take some space away. I love it. This is gonna really cause the fight to get awkward. Oh. He takes down Mir right in front of him. Disbalance doesn't have the health to compete and Masuta confirms it. So the force buy pays off, Chad. We are watching Vitality win the war of attrition. Well, they need to string another one together here if they want to start being able to stretch their legs. And these plants coming in from Spirit mean they can continue to stay deadly on the buys as well if they wish. So as there's only one player remaining from the side of things for Vitality, I would assume that Spirit are more than happy to buy up and go again. This is just a um, lovely, ferocious counter to kick things off today. Hasn't necessarily been the crazy clutch moments, but they are close scenarios. Yeah. And, well, we want a close series. We had some great games yesterday. Some absolute bangers of moments. And they'll concede. So Spirit... They've had enough. They don't want to be playing none of those reindeer games. I was about to say the same thing. We don't spend any time together, ladies nope, and gentlemen. Not, not at, at all. all. Now then, with only Glocks, and I say that with bated breath, two whole P250s, and they are charging into Shocks' domain, so there's a quick $1,200 added to his bank account he'll be happy to collect. Did you order that morph suit? Oh, thank you. I knew there was well, I can do else. it now. Are you doing a whole order? Well, I just ordered us the, the supplement right, stuff. I'll just for our brains. the other bibli. Okay, yeah, green morph suit, two. Shox is going for an ace, and we're talking about green morph suits. Come on, Shox. Can you think about what we're doing for a second, mate? Uh, to be fair, though, I knew Apex was going to get that. Okay. So I was like, totally four kills on an eco? That's yeah. morph suit territory. That's not headed. If it was an ace, pff, I'd, have been, I'd have been out of a job. That's true. Yeah. Four oh. kills there in the center of your screen. Wow, what an impact player. He, <laughs> <laughs> he really wrecked those clocks, he really didn't he? He did. destroyed he them. got him. But to be fair, though, 2,400 extra schmigglies into the bank account is always nice. Someone should do, like, a dictionary of the words that we make up. Well, you, you, can't, oh. you can't say money for the rest of the whole time you work this job. Otherwise, you get very bored. Shock's keeping it interesting, as is RPK. Walking in, demanding respect and denying two members of this team spirit be split. They will start to scavenge or scurry their way back towards the T spawn, dropping the bomb, disbalance heading to the palace to join Magic. And that is the duel he was looking for. Zaiwu quick to get the info for free though, and now he's landing on his nose. Down. Very nasty damage inflicted. Down to 41. Hard round to get yeah, How do you dig here. yourself out of this? Well, I just found needs to find an opening. And there is a chance on the Apex who just moves over towards spawn. He is jump peeking. If he hits a nice shot, the door towards A can be opened. The flick of the wrist comes in. The Ooh. damage will be done. And Apex, he's going to send out a great G. No real damage. But the rotation's coming in from Vitality now. Yeah, it does kind of now hinge on Mir, who's trying to make space on Sandwich. This boost is going to be real nice. Putting Zywu up as well, the turret, ready to deny any sort of funny business with that plant. And I like that they're not going over Peaky. Magic spotted and executed. That's really, really smooth way to ensure the round goes their way. A boost of their own design, though. Ooh. Oh, that's a shame. RPK gets given enough info. The Molly will force the fight, though, I imagine. Burnt back into the safety of the corner. Swings in. Nice little dink. Poor Mir. Not necessarily out of it yet. They are using every second they have available to them, unfortunately. Oh, how is he doing this? Mir, it's only Apex. He's got 13 HP. The tag from Disbalance earlier. He takes them both down on jungle. 18 seconds. It gets so damn difficult now because the unknown is Apex. Hasn't opted for the sound cue. What can you do here, Mir? A fake and a fight? 
He spots him. Oh, and it's Apex to catch the timing. Very, very nice attempt from Mir, turning it around. I think three of, if not two of those kills were on 10 HP. Yeah, that was good stuff. And Vitality made that awkward and kept Team Spirit really glancing over towards CT spawn uh, by rotating all of their individuals besides Apex deep into spawn and then through the jungle position. That's where these kills were coming on through, but it was misdirection, right? They were trying to make it so that Spirit was so glued and focused elsewhere. Apex still having to finish it off in a close way, but around nonetheless, as the Eco will be coming back out for Spirit this time round. Yeah, we'll have some sidearms, some deadly deagles. Does anyone have the, the cool new deagle? Check them out for us, Rush. Bad. You can't keep just boycotting every other deagle than the fancy skin you got. Yeah, but it is a nice one. It is a nice one. Very Probably probably the nicest one. But I don't know. I like what Magix has done. Bit of a hipster. You can see he's gone for the... Uh, stickers onto the default, uh, default with one. stickers. Yeah. I did a couple of those with my sticker. I was like... Yeah, it's the sponge USP. That's yeah, all it is. That's all it has to be. Such an ugly signature. When they were doing it, because I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to, to be a part of the first signature stickers. I remember that. All the players running around with Sharpies. Yeah, and the, the cool thing, well, what we thought was, oh, there's no way they're just going to like take what we wrote on a piece of paper and put that in the game. Like They're going to make it look nice and stuff, right? Right? Right. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Mine looks like, honestly, a three-year-old. <laughs> S just P U N J. Yay! Yeah, and then you submitted it, and yeah. it sits in the game forever. Forever. Um, anyway. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus, he was like a rocket ship into middle. That was a speedy run boost. Ooh, Does sound like a knockoff dude. Disney character. Speedy run boost. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now to get underway with the guns once again for... What's the Team score in Spirit? German, Chad? Uh, I... Fünf. Fünf. Fünf und. Zwei. Danke schön. We're learning a little more every day. Zwei, we're making the sound cue and flirting with the idea of supporting from short. Not a nade into the disbalances domain, down to 68. So that does soften them up for the majority of the rifles now in play for Vitality. That's M4A4. Masuta jumping for info. That, ooh, it's easy to exploit for some Die Young, but he fires off his warning shot, and now it's an exchange of Bottle of Flame. Very default stuff here early. Utility holding back Vitality across the map. Team Spirit trying to grab whatever space they can. And it hasn't actually been a huge amount, but a spectacle, spectacle? Speculative spam from Apex, doing a bit of damage onto eye disbalance. Interesting that he's just been holding this angle. Like they take mid control and then they hope that enough action that transpires that Zywu has, has to support from ticket boost. But they don't have any space and there's 45 seconds left on the clock. Sure, right. Mia can get into the window now. It's not going to do a lot. Apex is still watching it. Zywu over towards the ticket booth. They still have RPK on the site. He's not being pushed or pestered whatsoever. That's the start. That's a good opening, but 30 seconds left, the bomb over towards B-Apps, now going back towards T-Spawn. Oh, Where's the finish? Has to be A. Yeah, this is a real chaotic mid-round calling. RPK and Zywu, they won't have to work hard to destabilize this one. 19 seconds. Coming towards the choke point, still util. The flash timing looks pretty uh, solid. There's another as well. 10 seconds, the bomb's at ramp. This has surely not going to work. Five. He is going to be allowed to get it down. Disbalance keeps him safe. They have turned it around. Disbalance on the potential vulnerability here. He is exposed to this flank. And Masuta does opt to take that frag, not playing around with any extra trigger discipline. And they're all playing that after plant jungle side. A smoke would have been ideal. Not to be seen. Masuta looking pinpoint today. He has spotted another on his cross in. And eliminates it down to a 2v2. Fake for the info. Some die young to swing. Needs the adjustment and finds it from shots. Masuta. And they've done it. Masuta. That is a phenomenal turnaround. A four versus two, but the rookie steps up on a dank flank. Yeah, that was big stuff right there. Around the team spirit, I felt didn't have any chance of being in. Last second plant. Round gets flipped on its head. A couple of desperate attempts from Vitality to stop the plant. And then, well, from the back lines. Easy as you like. Find some big kills. They stay poised. It didn't feel like they were rushed whatsoever. And Vitality with a big round on the board here. So that plant should see another buy coming through on the side of things for Spirit. They have enough, but they don't 
have enough to get Idris Balance's AWP. They could easily buy into just the AK-47s and go for a set piece here. There we go. He is opting into the AK. So it will be the buy. I was a little bit curious seeing them go for a timeout, but maybe just wanting to decide which execute or which attack they want to be following into round number nine with Apex at the top. 139 points of ADR. How good's your memory, Chad? Uh, Can you remember when we looked at Disbalance's 2020 AWP and AK stats? Uh, yeah, it was like 60% with AWP. 60, thank you. Yeah, so, something ridiculous like that. So I disbalance on the rifle. The AK, I think, is the second highest in terms of frags. And he's a ride or die AWPer, so him not having it can be a bit of a problem. Let's have a looky loo. Yeah, given the responsibility of middle chopper going to be maneuvering to assist him through the underpass, but it does seem like there's this, this is the set piece you spoke of, Chad, or at least to a certain extent. They can cover the back because everyone's got their flight paths and responsibilities. As the window smoke arrives, Chopper deploys his towards Connector. This seems very bread and butter. Maybe a sprinkling of salt for a bit extra flavor. No aioli on this one. No, thank you. Oh, that flash did nothing. Shocks can hold the line. It should not get overwhelmed. A missed shot, a wide... Spread from the T's. He just puts the bullet between them and they call save immediately. Look at that. They have enough money to, to hang around. At least shocks in the bank balance Zywu as well, but making sure that this is the long game, the percentage counter strike we talk about coming in very, very early here, round number nine, to be exact, as Team Spirit will plant the bomb for free. And you can see the flash here just getting caught in the corner of the couch. You know, you lose remotes in there. Is that actually why he did nothing? I would say so. Uh, it did look like it made no sense. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you, you, this game. Yeah, I know you drop your phone down there from time to time. Anything. Keys. I, yeah. There's money. Did you tell room keys? Like the fact that it's not even like it doesn't jingle. Like half of the my, I realize now that I'm obviously like a, a child. Okay. But like it's easier to find my keys because the sound. I just slap my jackets and my trousers on. Oh, the floor, your actual keys. Yeah, you know, yeah. And then I can find my keys. Whereas that little pesky key card, it's just so inaudible. I have three on the go at the moment. How many are you rocking? I had to hand it in a stock. How many did you have? I handed them back like five. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole week, Chad, where I just kept, I just, just kept forgetting the car, walking out the door. And as it closes, you know that moment where you're like, no, 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 <sighs> and I just know I'm either doing it now or I'm doing it when I get yeah. home from work and I'm all salty. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's all right. It, it they're wow, good, he's good his, that way. Shocks has got like a proper adult house. Yeah. Well, he's married. Him I mean, stuff. he's an adult. Yeah, yeah. I, I know, but. Let me be surprised a little bit. Okay. He's got like a cross trainer, framed photographs. He's like a proper, well, he's living a real life. Oh yeah, it must be nice to have framed photographs. Oh, I get there eventually. Double orps on the CT side of Vitality here though. That's the closest thing to framed photographs we have in Counter-Strike. As uh, me and Cheddar just got photos of different CS maps <laughs> and strategies. I just have all of our passport photos from visa applications in a frame with like you, me yeah, and Henry. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, our sad existence. I like the double orb, Chad. Yes, now it is good. And and one of the notes I think I will be making here and putting in my notepad is that old boy Masuta is over towards the B-bomb site and RPK switched over towards A. I think that is a change from the last time that we had the uh, opportunity of seeing them firsthand. As we're zooming on in in a very, very slow approach once again, shocks will not be as far forward as in the previous, so won't get overwhelmed in the same way. Same... Deal. Smoke towards connector. Mid control. Nice and slow. No rush. Not taking any risks. Not getting the flary vitality in their face, but okay. Th the radar shows that there's a smoke there. Oh, that's twice. Twice B sites left open as Shocks is bested. Magic's just with the drive by. They haven't dropped. And you can see Masuta's timing. He peeks on Apex's contact. Disbalanced as well to clear the duel. And some die young's hitting headies. These guys are plucky gamers and now all on to disbalance the clutch. Half health, advantage Zywu and an AWP in his hand as well. He was new to be cautious about that. I wonder if he turned just for the back model to bait. But now, bomb retrieved Zywu. Is he going to flirt with some moves here? Yes, of course he is. And now, Zywu peeks in. He's upgraded to the AK. That's clean enough to grab himself an AWP and head on back to the site for his victorious defuse. Now, he had an opening there, Alex. And once the defuse does come on in, we we're going to... Well, actually, before that, we're going to jump in. So check this out. Where's the connector smoke? Where's the connector smoke meant to land, everybody? Here. We all know that. We all know that. Well, look oh. where it did land. Look at this bad boy. Now, watch what happens next. Zywu on top, picking an angle you'll never see, and gets a freebie onto Chopper. So that's how things kicked on off. Oh. Just a little bit of a mistake there from the side of things of spirit not the end of the world they still got it down to a 1v1 scenario get the bomb down i just bounce goodbye's awp there's all those positive goodies right here but 
the what the round could have been if that didn't happen, a potential win, a potential number four on the board. Yeah, Zai would have been locked out significantly earlier, but great damage done and a clutch coming in from one of the kings of Counter-Strike, the newest crowned. Oh, wow. Missed shot, but plenty of mid-presence, and Zaiwu's not going to make the same mistake again. Pulls the trigger, disbalance gone just over the edge of the smoke. Masuta added to another kill to the tally, so already limping around the site. Spirit, very few options available to them. Mir's taking matters into his own hands, and I would never write him out after the things he did last time, chat. Yeah, Pistols and rifles, quite the clutch master. We need to see one of those now to get things activated as Magix is trying his own luck. See Zaiwu running away, finds RPK on the site. <gasps> Takes him down. Oh, he flubbed the movement. I thought Zywa was just closing the gap on Jungle, but he's opted for CT. So everything's cool. Mir finds Apex, and just like that, a 3v5 becomes an equilibrium. Flash avoided. Zywa quick to the draw, and some Dai Young just walks straight into his crosshairs. A good read of this game. Bomb loose as well. Rotate coming in, but Magix has cut them off at the rotate. Floating around window enables him to best shocks on the rotate again. Doesn't matter where shocks goes, Magic seems to have his number at the moment. So there's still 41 seconds left, and these have just felt like all 1v1 duels across the map here. That's a great nade. It's a little bit deep. But Mir finds one for the ramp position. That puts all the pressure on Masuda. He goes down to Magix, and there we go. They've finally broken the side of Vitality here. Check out the money. 3v5, Chad. Yeah, well... 3v5 that looked... Like they, they should, I mean, it should have been so difficult. So many jewels given, I guess, suppose it is. I have to change my expectations when I'm watching Vitality because in the same way that they find their wins, they find their losses. It is through taking those fights and yet when they're, when they're lost, you've given uh, an avenue back in. And nobody wants to be doing that. Zywu, though, looking for an avenue back out, has invested into the AWP, needs to go huge here. So the star player, the best player in 2019, needs to find a frag or two and well, he's in the right area of the map just to do exactly that. They're just so slow, Spirit. I, I wasn't expecting this type of an approach. The one that I remember, the Spirit that I had in the back of my mind of previous... But this could work so well, right? Because they're going to say, B-Ab's clear. Then they're going to be so damn mad if they go down to Magic, who is just waiting. Okay. Oh, caught out. Bombs down. Yeah, bombs delivered to their front doorstep. Shock's even getting an AK for his troubles. He will be forced into the fight by the Flames, but opting to tuck in. Zywu so actually catching a bullet through the corner there. Oh. Balance does well to take that fight. Catches one of his own, though. Now, goodness me, this is a... Nasty situation to find yourself in. Great flash over the top to peek on from Shox. That's the teamwork you want to see. I disbalance was doing the flashbang dance every day of the week. And now it's just Chopper to claw them out of a one on three hole. Yeah, look how many weapons are there as well. It'd be crazy to see RPK buying a weapon next round, considering what's available to him. And they've confirmed his location. They could triple peek. Looks like Chopper wants to try and bring that AWP into the fray. Hoping and praying he can make them a little less attainable. Process of elimination. Oh, jiggles the shot. Double peep. Then that's the end of that. Will RPK get a weapon? He will. Lovely, lovely. That's a freebie round right there off of uh, Zywu with the AWP, but they didn't even find the opening kills of him. It was two Deagle frags. It was Shox and Masuda opening things up. But I've just gone back through my lovely uh, tools that I have here just to check on the last game that we saw from Vitality on this map. And you were right, it was that NIP game. And it was definitely RPK holding over to the B bomb site and Masuda holding over towards A. So my memory is working. That's good to know. So there's a CT setup change yeah, right here for Vitality. The B apps. Yeah, and, and I guess I think RPK as a as a tank into as a turret, as we label him sitting in one position and getting multi kills, A can be good for that as long as he stays dedicated to one position, right? If they're coming out of like apps and he has to focus on that as well as connector splits and all of those other areas, it might get a little bit harder. Uh, but when you think about him playing a position on nuke, like top side, when they're coming out, he's great at those multi-kills. So if he can do the same thing over towards his A site of Mirage, that'd be great stuff right there. I think B, because it looks like they're running the double orb set up a little bit more, so they're actually using the rifler of Masuta over towards Catwalk yeah, sure. on those occasions. Makes a lot of sense. Good to see one of the more consistent fraggers of Vitality. Not only had a resurgence, but repositioned now as well towards the A site, often going to be a heavy test.
especially against a coordinated team such as Spirit. But as you said, yeah, different pace, different look. This one, it will be a little more from the playbook. You can see them. Actually, are they walking through their own connector smoke or they'll just rat it? Oh, this could be a lot of fun. Watch this from Apex's point of view. They will see him first. But not oh. if he just sprays into the smoke wildly. He takes down Mir. He won't anticipate a second. He does gobble up that flashbang for a light snack. Shock's fighting in the flames and already some Dae Young swinging in from connector. It's not worked out. RPK does best him. And Magic's his late arrival. Oh my goodness. What happened to Chopper through the Molotovs? I think he got burnt down to one. In the meantime, Magix does do it, but I, this is essentially a 1v5. The Flash forces the AWP off the line. He's dropped down. He's doing everything he possibly can here, Chad, but... Goodness me, I don't see a single way out. Maybe Masuta is on the chopping block, but he handles that with ease. 1 HP, 1v4. Uh, I've seen some things before. I'm not sure if this is it. It's a good start. Yeah, but that's going to hurt. Double peaking from two different elevations is a nasty one to deal with when you've got the lowest health you could possibly have. This was Apex just completely so solving the mystery. You can see their intentions, or maybe you can explain it better than I. Well, the, the idea with that smoke right there is as it fades, they will have the advantage based on the mechanic in the game of Counter-Strike at the moment. So the two individuals would puff out of the smoke. They get a chance to clear that connector and see any CTs in front of them first, if they're looking in the right direction. And that would give them an opening, a surprise as it were, but the surprise went the other way. And actually that going down, that spam frag coming through, accelerated the attack, which would have made it more janky, which made it out of place for Spirit. And as you see, they're down nine to four, their map choice. Things are looking great for Vitality here. I'm enjoying this roll switch up. I want to see more from RPK on the A side, and we're about to see him get tested once again. And execute coming over the top here, smokes, flashes, and some upgraded pistols. What can the big man do? See what his immediate response is. He looks at the smokes and actually knifes out See ya. the CT. Oh, they're going to boost over, but this could be a problem. Well, there's no flashes to come through, so the pistols will not push into jungle, but they're taking control of spawn. Look at them all. They're not even Ooh. planning yet. Triple plant now. Taking over CT. The retake could get pretty janky if you all come in into a stack, if you're all peeking at the same time. They've changed their elevations oh. One anti-flash. There's a world where Spirit surprised them here. The run boost! Oh, the run boost is launched into the sky! <laughs> <laughs> the Team Spirit space program! Oh. Nice work. They've actually managed to make this relatively competitive. There's a chance. Oh. Some die young. He's jiggling the shots. If he can find a clean one onto Apex, the babysitter. The defuse does come in, though. It's 10. <laughs> Vitality have sorted out this defense. It was three. Is all they could post against NIP. Now double digits on Mirage. Yeah, that was uh, an interesting one right there. Let me see the that timing on this flash. <laughs> <laughs> Flying out from the heavens. Oh, dear. Zoom. Imagine, imagine if there was only like one or two guys there and they were right. close war and the run exactly. boost is over there. That would be mental. And then suddenly they get like stabbed in the back. They have no <laughs> idea why. There's so many ridiculous, oh, capable plays and players. Now a boost for the orb. We used to see this an awful lot. Does enable you to get a much clearer line of sight for anyone crossing early to support connector. However, it seems that CTs have gone for a different stance this time. Final round, first half. Some Dae Young's managed to make some great progress here in the apartments, pursuing an opener. Uses the flash to have a glance and falls back. It's keeping Zaiwu busy and occupied. In the meantime, just balances on a project all of his own design. He's not making any sound. Cautious. It blows my mind that Vitality don't even really care about mid. There's been so many rounds where they've just been sat back defensively on the science or pushed forward yeah. on the extremities. and. They're just allowing them to take window. They can take connector. They'll fight them in the fray. They're, they're not worried about establishing mid control. And I think that's because of Team Spirit's slow approach. You can have it. You can't plant there. Oh, his vision's restored. And wow, that's quick from disbalance. Left eye into Zywu catches him unawares. Could have been a glance at the minimap. That bomb still is in the top of middle. And we do only have 40 seconds left. So we are seeing exactly what you spoke of. It's tucked into the corner, avoids the flash. And oh, Spallance has gone too. That's spectacular. Hunting him down with a pistol. He had to hit that first bullet. But he's done his contributions. It's RPK. Bomb's still down. There's 25 turn. seconds. You're right, Chad. Get and a move on. And they've got shocks in Palace. Like, he can stop that A plant any day of the week. Why does this feel like the CIS classic? We've got Na'Vi in the server. Zeus's ghost is shouting. He's going. Plante. 10 seconds. 10. 10. Nine. 
Shox should just kill Shox? this planter. Okay, he's actually punching in the digits and Shox has missed the shots. Not again, not like this. Finally cleaned up by RPK. 11 for the French squad. But yeah, that's a, that's a messy one from Team Spirit. There's fashionably late, and then there's fashionably late to your own map picks T half. Team Spirit now, only four rounds, 10 for Vitality. This is the first half of Counter-Strike for day number six here at ESL Pro League season 12. Come back after the break. Let's see what's going on. throw that love letter on your bed i wrote that i need you and i'm not afraid to show I that anything anything on your everything everything Day and Vitality really have turned it around. In contrast with their opening Mirage game against the Ninjas, a relocation of a CT player and already seeing great improvement, it seems. A good day in the office so far. It's 11 to 4 up against Team Spirit. Far from over though, myself and Sponge hanging out here in the studio in Cologne. And we're getting a little sneak peek into the various homes of your favorite players as we get ready to jump into the game. I'm sure that's what we'll be doing shortly because it is started. Dun, 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 and they dun, dun, are dun, running dun, towards dun, dun, B. Dun, 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 Four players. Dun, dun, Let's get into the game dun, dun, if we can. Dun, dun, as they dun. charge into the B site. It's okay. I'll just do the audio description. I can see it from version. the screen. I'm watching it on his screen. They're into the site now. Apex concentrating as Magic wants to contest. But it does look like they've got full access to the B site here visually. And there's first Apex blood drawn. Dead. Apex the first. Someone's planning. He's not dead, don't lie. He took his hand off the mouse. Oh, well, he's top mid right now. Okay, maybe he was chilling. Sorry. We're back, we're in. I thought I had it. I thought I knew what was going on. <laughs> he's dead, he's dead. Now he is dead. All right. On the retake. 
Four members closing in from two different angles of approach. Masuta clean into the first, but now a flurry of CT frags. That's a chance. And RPK has just struggled to make a bit of a meal of the final one. Some die young though, running out of time, running out of chances. Does hit the shot, but doesn't have time to get the kill, or does he? It's close, really close. <sighs> wow, that's quite the clutch. Triple kill, SDY saves Team Spirit's pistol. And that was an nearly a full five-man retake. The casualty of Apex not being able to contribute too much at the top of middle, but yeah, Magic's going down earlier, 4v4 for most of that round. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be getting this one back underway in a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. As we have a force buy coming out on the side of Team Vitality. Two AK-47s, a Galil and a Scout. Masuda just with the Deagle in hand. On the other side of things, an Org for Idis bounce over towards Window. Silence then for Mir. Two MP9s. And in the first half, we saw Vitality bounce back in the immediate second with their CT side force. That was more than a few MP9s. Another slow start. This has been the name of the game here today. Back towards A. Pushed up in the apps position of Palace will be shocked. Zywoo getting ready to lob some smokes over towards middle. But the first player they have to deal with is Chopper. The MP9 in hand. He's up close. The multi-frag potential with this. Masutra is first. He's headed. Oh. will explode. Where's the shadow? Oh, gets more than he bargained for. Gets a bullet in his shoulder blade as well. And they will come hunting. One for one. Great weapon for the job, but Disbalance loses his head to shocks, and these trades are going back and forth. The scout tag into the Zaiwu frag. It's a two on one. Of course, it's Zaiwu, though, more than capable of zipping up the body bag. Mere hiding for now, retreating, if you will. He's going to wait for the double peek, and if Zaiwu really goes hunting, he's going to get way more than he bargained for. Very smart play from Spirit there. Yeah, they didn't overextend when they were waiting for the bomb to go down. Managed to clean that one up. It did get very, very messy there. Chopper overwhelmed. I was expecting him to be able to at least get one, drop back, delay, allow the call to come through. Oh, they're able to hold on. Six rounds now to the 11 of Vitality after their strong first half. And the force fire will come back out here, Alex. You can see more AKs being dropped. As I were getting another one. Shock's having one more again. All righty, folks. Strap yourself in for the force by wars again. This is the way we kicked off the first half. Apex really loving this scout. He, he chuckled when you mentioned it, didn't he? Yeah. I guess it's the 17. Because I was, by the way, waiting on the little lip in the smoke. And then advancing when he thinks he's got a gap. Does manage to, but it's mere. Oh. oh my goodness. Lines up three of them. Far from concluding the round now, Disbalance has had an AWP bullet lodged within his toe. Maybe even been Apex's scout. Did significant damage, though. And now. They don't have to rush, but with the bomb at top middle, it, keep, it makes me nervous. I'd rather it was somewhere a little easier to relocate, but Masuta's is happy to maintain that mid control. Apex was here to confirm no early CT info pushes. Of course, vulnerable to Palace had they pushed it, but I think he's relatively safe in the knowledge that Spirit aren't going for anything particularly crazy. They are in pursuit of closing this gap. They need to find one more frag to stick with the magic number of three which might lure them into yet another buy, even if they lose this round right here. You want to keep this CT side economy as low as possible. So they've split up. The bomb over towards middle will be coming through connector. And Apex clearing up towards the A ramp. Chopper is playing very, very passive. They have a decent chunk of utility to deal with a retake if they want to. And you can see how much Spirit is willing to give up. Smoke will drop towards jungle. That might be the early warning signs to start getting a wriggle on for the rotation. Clearing all the corners, making sure there's no CT lying in wait. Chopper, he's not going to pick just yet. And what the MP9 at range. Wow. Yeah, you get those bursts, you control that burst of three or four, and they're all hitting their head. That was a long range. Full health apex. Executed. Duh. Oh, wow. Did well to find one, but it will not convert into a round in the end. Magix was there for the trade. Just traveling as a pack when they know they have the numbers advantage, and that's two rounds in a row. What? Two rounds in a row, it worked out. And here's the thing. With this plant coming through, we might actually see Team Vitality go for another buy, Alex. Because Not look again. at their money. Oh, you're right. 3,800, 5,250. 
Like dance. Galils and yeah. all SMG bopping around. Even if they wanted to go on RPK and Apex with AK head armor and go for more contacty play, Team Spirit are not in a position where they can really get a good buy going through. This is a big mop up there from Mir. Without that, probably a Team Vitality round. Yeah. And that's uh, that's good stuff yet again. So they will hold on to the org. Wow, is that a T cosplay you got there? Like the crowbar? Just make sure you put it back in your dad's toolbox after. Yeah, he'll be asking for that. I'm wondering where that is. Okay, well, Chopper's really having a rough time of it over towards A. He's spotted up at least two, probably a third, and they can already attack this site. He's isolated. He yeah, has no right. friends. He's in a real spot of bother, and I'm so interested how little they went for Nate. They've got two flashes, Chad, a single smoke. And it has given them full sight control. This rotate, this is going to be a brawl. Are you ready for some deathmatch? Because it's about to happen as these smokes fade, as this wall and bomb goes down. 5v5 reset. Yeah, on baby. A. Okay. This is going to be a, a different a type of commentary because it's about to be like a bloody horde race. Magix does manage to open us up with two. So I win with Suta, perhaps not. Oh. oh, RPK's really flubbed his lines there. Apex shocks running out of options. They oh just wall banged. Lovely preemptive shots, and they're gonna dunk him. Yeah, shots, mate. magnets in his hands. Bonk! And that's the end of that. Well, much more magnificent from Magics than I anticipated. A clean five-man still standing retake. Okay, the bomb went down again. The lost bonus building. They're gonna up. say the same. Yeah. <laughs> they can buy again. They can buy again. They've just bought every round of the game, Alex. Boom. They've basically had to buy every round of this T half. Vitality have really been making it work. They've had a minimum of two AKs in every round besides the pistol. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't say that years ago. Quickest summary of, of what this round, what happened in this round is none other than RPK missing his shots onto Mir mm. and a great double from Magix when they stepped out for the trade. Precisely, and then it just comes down to finding the last two and trading out efficiently. And as you can see, it wasn't too many dramas whatsoever for Spirit, but they're more than happy to contain them and back towards A again. Already up to Tetris. Alrighty then. They saw how much space oh. they were given. This time it's not for free. Chopper, quick reactions onto the Tetris. Advance. What is Apex doing towards the B site right now? I mean, he's trying to make it look good. He's jumped straight into Magix and no accuracy at all in the air. Magix managing to track him well enough with his AK slash lightning gun. I don't love this. What, the Palace three-man walkout? But they've just been so close on all of these gun rounds through going for frags, and now it's finally been found out, and they're not hitting their shots. They're not able to find any trades, and now they find themselves in a three-on-five. At least before, they were getting sight control, they were getting the bomb down. The real problem is if they don't plant here, if they don't find any kills, all that hard work they've done in the previous is gone. No one's watching Palace. No one. Look at them. They're all above him. They're about to drop down. Chopper has no idea. There is a gap, and they've found it. A 3v5, and it's getting a little more realistic now, Chad. Oh, SDY, that could be the round saver. Oh yeah, this is getting sketchy. They have to fight. And in the smoke, he saw Disbalance tuck in. SDY still from the connector. Here's the steps. And CT's oh. not down. Zyvu's got a double suddenly all on SDY and he's already shaken. What could you possibly do? Low HP, they group up, they swing together. One bullet will do. 13 HP, he's really in dire straits. A fresh magazine, run out of chances. This is Vitality's round now. Zywu saves the day with that magical double towards CT, otherwise they could have easily been overwhelmed. That's ridiculous that they had a guy come up ramp, they died, they all fell back, they went through Palace, Apex is over towards B, doing his own thing, and then this is it. Hello. You're not looking where well, we He's are. <laughs> oh no, okay, this is the double from wow. Zywu. And then to finish things off onto SDY, the double peak from RPK and Zywu is great stuff there. The two youngsters on the side of things doing very well. We have... Uh, 19 kills for Zywu, 19 for Masuta. So, Constellation of Stars is changing a little bit, at least in one of the names. Byron will come back out for Spirit. Very default approach, nothing too crazy. I just found it's about to be greedy with three. Oh, this is terrifying, and he's got no armor either. I can't believe he's gone for the jump. Puts himself on a plate. And now they're going for the play. Chopper just in sandwich. He is going to have to be... Very proactive, and yeah, that's just caught in the hunt. He was gonna try and isolate onto shocks, and this one is going one way, one way only. Magix does his best to try and intercept the traffic, but I'm afraid, yeah, nothing they can contribute into this one. So Vitality do string together too. It's off the back of a Masuta double. And Mir needs to save. The money's not great. $1,900 loss bonus going into the next round for Spirit. All those gun rounds that they were having to deal with Vitality time and time again, dropping the AKs across, getting the bomb down, being threatening, having to retake. It's all caught up with them now.
because they can win these rounds that others don't. Yeah. Others press save. You notice they didn't do anything? No. They just walked through middle, yeah. isolated a fight, took some A ramp control, isolated another fight, killed the rotators coming in from CT. That was a round. Nothing tricky, nothing crazy. But it has significantly put it's put them in a position where like economy dictates they should be winning. Yeah. And uh, at this point, as Mia, oh, okay, I was gonna say loses the M4. It's probably going to be an even oh. harder round coming forward. Shocks, is he gonna spam? No, 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 no. Let's no. So a gun will be saved, and that could be huge because Mia's on 23 kills. He's having a star level performance right here. This it's is always good for again. one. Always, Mia, multi kill master. See if he's got any full guys there. He's got ESEA. Yeah, okay. Dota at the top as Dota? well. Okay. SDY doesn't strike me as a, a full guys player. He's probably like, oh, I should relax. And then he plays aimbots for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go into uh, my end of day routine. Yeah, just going to wind down with... Watch three demos. Volume one deathmatch. <laughs> volume one deathmatch. No music. <laughs> no MP3s. No, no. Dot MP3 out of the window. <laughs> dot CSGO. Footsteps well and truly on. Yeah. That's how he, he likes to wind down with a little cup of coffee. Wait, Alex Richardson, that's not how... A cup we, of coffee? I mean, I was trying to be sarcastic and facetious, but I, I, I went too far. Okay. A cup of tea would have Don't been. do coffee before bed. No, kid. don't do that. But a black coffee and an empty stomach before, in the gym, great way to start your day. I say it. I've done it sometimes. It's not always easy to do. Would recommend to a friend, though. <laughs> and anyway, that's the whole uh, health part of our podcast complete. We can focus on the video games now, because it is just going to be an eco bash. I'm still interested if Mir can do much. He's giving it a good go. He knows he has to contribute, but already shots just leaping out of the window. And he should go down. Yeah, SDY does well. AK's on the AK, ground. AK, okay. But B side lost. SDY would have to be popping some heads. And they already know he's around short. Zai was staring at him. He's even got a smoke for the after plan. They haven't got it down yet. That's Masuta's responsibility. They don't have to rush it. They have the numbers. Apex is holding the flank. And that should be enough to confirm the round. You can see SDY looking a little more passive now. Now, he should hold on to the AK, and the reason is I'll continue to talk about the loss bonus for any newer viewers, anyone who's not too familiar with Counter-Strike. The uh, seesaw of the loss bonus is very different to how it used to be once upon a time. So because Team Spirit were winning the game, but the rounds were close, they weren't building a massive bank. And then as soon as they had lost all their cash with the two rounds that Vitality had strung together in the earlier stages, it forced them down to bottom of the barrel loss bonus. So this coming into this round, they had stage two, which is 1,900. Going into next round, after the bomb detonates any moment now, they'll have $2,400 added onto their tally. Now, for the average CT side of buy, you're looking at about, if you wanted to have a Chad level CT side of buy, now this isn't a pro level CT side of buy, because they love to just buy at yes. 4.3. I would like to see my teammates having 5K. Now, why? Diffuse kits, Molotovs, smokes, HEs, flashes, all the goodies, as yeah. well as the weaponry and the Kevlar. Now, these players are able to operate on lower buys because they know how they need to apply themselves in the round. They might go for more risks. They play together, have different approaches, different stacks. But Vitality have the edge here. Shox hasn't actually bought any utility whatsoever, so I'm curious to see what his approach is. No nades, even though he could have afforded it. Yeah. He's just a full lurk here. Maybe he is planning on just kind of uh, laying his life on the line. Steering oh, he is. Yeah, he is. He's just going for full commitment, walking out, and he will go down. The fact that no one was home, RPK can have the element of surprise now. Do they have, does he have the balls? God, that would be ridiculous to walk out. He's, He's just going to walk is. out. Oh, 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 your chopper, you don't expect this one. You heard the pins being pulled. Oh. Oh, oh, he's found him. Sorry, I shouldn't scream. Everyone gets upset. Exciting, though. Nice catch. I thought he had him there. They're trying to dunk him in the smoke. Taste of their own medicine. Remember Apex caught SDY? This time, they do it. And no one's home. Now Chopper found out. Dink. A hey, bomb's coming back through Palace. And SDY should have done enough here, but Zywu and Apex, certainly no slouch. And a smoke on both of them does enable them to really make space for them. But flanked and found, it was the ninth for Team Spirit. They needed that. So that was just a limp out there, seeing if Shox could find an opening with Chopper not looking. And in the past, he hasn't been looking. So the call's not so bad. But it's a risk, you know, when I'm talking about Counter-Strike and I'm saying they don't play like Astralis, they don't play colors by numbers, you know, they're not just doing the, the, the pushing the CTs around the map, exploiting rotations. The way that they're doing it is in a risk versus reward way. It's like, well, we can probably get away with this. And if we do get away with it, we, we win the round. Like if there's no one watching Balcony, I'll come out and you can come trade off me. If there is, he probably won't expect to and I can still open up A. It's, I, it's very different what line of thinking, but it's fun to see it working out. Yeah, and they've actually made it work in a lot of the rounds to make, keeping it competitive. So 
You can't fault it. As that smoke, you probably can. There is going to be a large gap on the left side here for Zywoo to creep on through and peek to make sure the CTs are not aggressive whatsoever. The bomb down towards the back of the B-apps, but the initial duel, at least at the moment, looks like it will be Zywoo versus Chopper. As I say that, the caster's curse is real. He dips on back, makes a couple of footsteps. Chopper, in the meanwhile, clears out the ramp position. That flash will give away information to Vitality that they are aggressive towards that side of things. And now as they exchange utility on the catwalk position, Apex has exchanged territory. By taking vent room, he can control this window as the smoke starts to clear or even go for a bit of a flank. And it will be the B finish. It will be the B split. Okay, look at Mir's position. I've got a good idea that he's just going to get at least a couple there. But he's fallen off straight into Masuta's arms and now Magix needs a multi. Masuta found out. SDY into the site. Zyru's quick to the scope. Rotate on its way. Chopper, disbalance, were the A defenders and they will potentially be heard by RPK. He's the one closest pressing his ear to the kitchen wall, walking now. No gap to be exploited, but he can certainly put bullets down range if he gets the sense. Disbalance from short on that AWP. He could perhaps try and knock shocks, shocks off his perch. Zywoo as well. Ooh, a missed shot. Doesn't want to give him a way back in. And Save then, yeah, that's that, that was the right choice by Zywoo. Had he taken another duel, suddenly perhaps the walls come tumbling down. But now, yeah, Chopper's just going to have to get the hell out of there. He'll try and contain them as best he can. They'll go for the safe ex exit apps. It's such a nightmare, the money situation for Spirit. It's... Is this a product of the way Vitality is making them play, or is it all their own decisions? Uh, it's definitely the, the closeness of the rounds within the early yes. stages, uh, forcing the money into this kind of a position. But when you look at the fact that you had Vitality come win three rounds in a row, round 20, round 21 were gun rounds, round 22, they were down to a save. And then they bounced back in one round 23, which means they dropped their loss bonus back down another peg. Yeah, right? So it went to 19. Screwed themselves. Yeah. yeah. And now going into the final round here, they do have enough to get the rifles out. Having saved weapons really does help in that regard. And that's why you can see, oh, but no, if they lose 15, that's only one more round for the game. They have to save. They don't have an option. You can't go into the last round with nothing. Well, you can. I wouldn't advise it. And that's the save right there from my disbalance paying dividends immediately. Oh, I can't. He's raising an Orpa stick around. Could put another one down. He's seeing elbows. Re peeks off the flash. Great gaming. Another third added to Disbalance's tally. He's taken this round and converted it almost entirely on his own. Look at Apex. Shocks. Full util health and everything else. Just their team has been ripped out of top middle thanks to Disbalance and his AWP. He's even potentially going to go hunting for some more here. Repositioned over towards window. Low HP means he might think better of going for a peek. But all Vitality need to do is find a couple of kills. They don't need to win this round. Just keep it costly. Keep it expensive. That's been the name of the game the whole way through, and Apex has done exactly that. So there's one. The first domino falls. Two more, and they get Chad Virtual big green tick and a gold star. I want both of those. Unfortunately, Apex is going to be met by disbalance in pursuit of his ace, and there's a world in which Shox is caught on the cross. Looks like disbalance has other intentions, though, and will fade away. Yeah, close line. Damn it, great shots from Shocks. Looking for the green tick, needs one more, but Magic's in prime position. Evades the smoke shots for now. He knows his objective. Chad has perfectly explained how Shocks' brain will be operating here, and he's not looking for anything more than a plant or a kill, but he's operating under the assumption that it's clear, so not going to happen. Chopper, good patience from him. But it's disbalance that pulls Team Spirit into the double-digit realms, and that's going to enable them to once again start making some repurchases. We'll need a drop from Magix and uh, Chopper, respectively. He got four in the round here, I just can't. So good stuff from him. The save door really just paid on off. And coming into this, he only had 10 kills. Walks away with 14 in total in a round to hold Spirit in contention. Ooh, that's a cool. That is that's good cool. For the orb. That looks sexy. All right. Oh, imagine that for the simple falling down cash clip. Ooh, you know, like it's nice. on the barrel as yeah. he goes down, and a little glimmer in his eye, then the dubstep drops. We should direct a frag. I should do frag movies. Yeah, I mean, I used to do video editing. Or well, editing, as Rush would call it. Editing. Yeah. They wanted me to do it for funny as well. Pushing <laughs> up. Are they froking? Not yet. They you are know, simply. Walking around with the zero, the hero AK. Magix has got a very nice little angle on that bench, but the flashes are good, and you can see that how much space that's given RPK. <sighs> he pulls them away so the rest can make space. But yeah, this one's not going anywhere. Yeah.
quick mop up, nothing too difficult for Spirit to deal with. And now that we're at the business end of the game, 15 to 11, we can start to not get worried for Vitality, just one needed out of the next four attempts. But we can start looking at the Spirit side of things and thinking, they can do this. They can bring this back. Mir, 25 kills to his name. Magic's continuing that good form we saw from the other day. 20 frags for him, 17 for some die young. Idis Balance coming alive with the AWP just in the previous, 15. And then Chopper over towards A, having some troubles, but 11 to his name. So adjustments have come in over towards that side of the map. You can see how easy it was before for Vitality to get out to Tetris. Maybe they'll try another round along those lines. Don't need to go with the necessary execute based off the style of play that they've been bringing into the server here today. Ah ha ha, IPK goes. Is that, is that like a, a, a May May? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's like, it's, you know. I learned. Spirit are working out all of their defense and then it's just ha ha, RPK goes brr and he kills all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. It's like, you know, the Vitality style of play probably subscribes quite nicely to the meme. Vitality do go brr sometimes, and you just have to deal with it. Oh. Smoke towards the top of middle, your rather default start of play. Nice to see Disbalance getting that info either way. All right, Vitality just across the map here. Two through underpass, one top middle of Apex. RPK in Palace, and then towards a ramp will be Shock. So this is looking like it wants to be set up for an A split. From this position, Apex will need to help the two underpass players to garner control here of middle. He's just holding passively right now with the Galil until they step on up. Smoke is cleared. That's the cue to push forward, knowing that the CT will have to drop back. And SDY almost Ooh. too little too late. Gets away with his life. I just bounce has to fall away because his teammate has lost the crossfire potential. And here we go. This flash is going to come over the top for connector. They're going to get ready to pounce onto A. <laughs> He's trying to get it set properly. Now flying over, they'll push off it. And deny a lot of space. Gosh, Chopper caught completely in the open. And now Mir's gone down too. This could be it. To change things is SDY found now by Masutu. Continues to have a fantastic game here at ESL Pro League. He's statistically the highest fragger for Vitality in their game so far. That's, of course, the NIP's game. And this first map, is it over? Looks like it might be. Just balance all the way at short still. Bomb ticking away. About 30 seconds left on that one. I don't think Magic is even going to see that clock tick. Daiwu does go down to Magix and quick adjustment from Shox. So 16.